farm is important to me personally because it's been in my family for six generations. And my mother was raised, born and raised on the farm. And it's always been an asset, but it's been an underutilized asset. We began starting the planning for this restoration. We were looking at what we thought was sustainable, what the best use was. And a grazing operation allowed us to avoid the harsh winters here and at the same time capitalize on the lush grasses that grow during the summer months here. Because it is so costly to do a pasture restoration, we want to maintain our soil fertility and keep our forage as healthy as we can. So we basically have a three-year plan that's a rotation and we lime and fertilize the entire farm on a three-year rotational basis. At the end of the day, this is not about manicuring or mowing grass. We're trying to turn grass into weight gain and beef at the same ratio. And soil fertility is critical. I've always found that working with nature and not against nature was the easiest path to follow. It's pretty easy to do something if you're working with the pattern of nature. But if you're trying to fight against it, it you can't ever overcome it. You'll notice other than the barns or along the river, there are no trees and on the farm. But at the same time, the cattle need some shade. So we, Randy, I should say, and I developed this concept, and this is kind of the prototype, and I suspect if you come back here next year, you'll see three or four more of these. Uh, it's our portable shade, and the thought process behind it was to give the cattle some shade if they wanted it, but also have something that we could move in the same fashion as our mineral feeders that didn't, or, create a septic area in a mud hole. Globally, we're all looking at this food supply that we have. And there is some sense of security in knowing the handling and the chain, what's going on in the chain of custody. I just think that the consumer is going to demand, ultimately, some accountability in the chain of custody. Mm -hmm.